Alright ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sash Tasho. welcome to From Flames episode 12. We will start the episode by going to the trader and trading in these cocoa beans for a few awkward potions and bolts of enchanting. And I might have left some awkward potions at the other base, so we'll take a look at that too. See you in a sec. back. So we needed level 22 I believe for sounds. Yes. Let's try to get there. Do not throw that away. Now we want unbreaking to level 17. We might make that with 38 bottles. Oh, we do not make that. Too bad, too bad. Um, but I also want to trade these emeralds and that means that I will... Yeah, level a bit when I'm down there, because I only need one level. Might as well do that. That gunpowder is in the wrong chest. Um. Yeah, I want the helmet. I, I'm not sure how many emeralds I have to pay for that. Or is it how much? Because it's... No. Yeah, let's see. Hello, man. 19. Could also... No, we cannot get the bow. I want to pay that. Now we need one level. I didn't bring any arrows. Oh, there's another trader here. And we are level 17. Let's check the trader first. Oh, you got emeralds. Let's steal them. No! Oh, it's one of these non-exploding creepers. Okay, we can get creepers here, we can get gunpowder. We can get fireworks, okay. Yeah, do not really care about that stuff, maybe the fireworks at some point. Let's go up again and enchant our armor. And then we will search for the next dungeon. Yeah, I, w I will cut the pass up. Okay, here we go. Wow, that will be really good against skeletons. If thorns even works against skeletons, I do not know that. But yeah, maybe it will we can leave the emeralds. No, wrong chest. And I just realized that I do not have a clock near me. So I will have to check on the links at some point in between. Because I'm too lazy to get one. No. Don't want to make another cut here. 
Whee! Oh, that's one of the non-exploding creepers. I don't mind. So we have been here, we have been there. We have been back there. Let's go. There's a thing right there. A beacon. That is the word I searched. So let's try to go there. Okay, it does work against skeletons. That is awesome. Ooh. There's a spawner somewhere here. Yeah. So the fire particles. Let's loot this house here. Oh, awesome loot. Nothing. Okay, where's the beacon? Down there. Oh, that might be a hard dungeon. I don't know. And um, can we climb down? No. We can climb down there. This is really risky what I'm doing right now. Okay. Get that guy out of the way. And that guy. Before he knocks me down. Um, can we climb down further? Yes. If you're not moving in the winds, by the way, you can climb them down safely, even if there's no block behind. Dungeon 8, Hellish Ravine. Okay. We... Yeah, I believe we did land Dungeon 7 last, the vault. Okay, now he did set me on fire. Why? Use the fire resist and let's go down here. Oh, this sword is so awesome. Take that out and that. I wonder if they can light themselves on fire again with sounds. TNT spawner most likely. Iron pants. Do not really need them. Got a bunch of stacks of iron. Not a bunch of stacks, we got two blocks of iron, but in case we need iron pants we can just make them. And another TNT spawner. Spawner right there. Cannot see the creeper spawner. We have to be careful. Yeah, should be fine with this. Die! There's a lot of coal here. We will remember that. We will not farm it now. Because we are relatively fine on coal, I believe. Yes, we are. Get that guy out of the way. Don't really care about the small ones. Don't do a lot of damage. Die! Okay, Blaze. I should have brought more arrows for Blaze. Um, let's destroy this chest. Okay, it's one of these. Where is the second blaze? Is it right there? No. That does look like a blaze. It is a blaze, isn't it? Now it's down there. Yeah. 
Um, let's kill that guy. See how our fire resist is doing still two minutes. I do not have boots anymore. I need to eat. Come on. And I need to take out the spawner. Stupid magma cubes. It might not be a good choice to destroy them, so we have hundreds of small magma cubes here. Um, I will use this preemptively. And I do need to... Oh, still two minutes for fire resist. Zombie Pikmin up there. We might have to go there. I don't know. A ton of gold. Is that the wool area already? There's no sign here. So most likely it's not. Just decoy. TNT spawner. They spawner. Okay, good job, zombie. We definitely want the emeralds. And that guy is immune to arrows, as it looks like. I don't really need the iron still. I mean, I have 17 iron in my inventory. As a matter of fact, I can make new boots, and I probably should. Get off, guys. And let's make some new torches while we are at it. And where can we go on? We can go on there. Or we can check that zombie pigment hole. We will go on there first. Wow! My fire resist has run out. I want to refill that. It was another five minute fire resist. Is it five minutes? I think it's six. Um, let's go up here. And we are stuck in an invisible block. I really love that. Let's go up here then. And there's another invisible block. I hate that SMP change. It happens so often now. Okay. Wool area. Nice. That was pretty quick. Pretty quick. Wool area. Let's check the chest. Diamonds. Do not really care about the other stuff. Might as well take this though. Mm. Oh, guest spawners in the ceiling. I wonder when they activate. So where are the wool guys if this is the wool area? Maybe in this... What is this? Is this the train? I don't know. Chest. Wow. Maybe we should use that at some point. 
I mean, projection 10 does not last very long, but still projection 10. Nice chest. Does not look like there was anything good in it. So let's get one of the books. We also need a space for the wool, which is right here. Um, we do not need the carrot, we do not need the golden carrot, we do not need melons. Pick up the wool, okay, we got the wool. And we can get the hell out of here. Where? But where? Um, we still have two minutes of fire resistance, so we cannot jump down into the lava. Maybe from here. Wee! Wee! Hmm. That seems to be just a pillar. Okay, we came from up there, I believe. I love the sword. Sharpness is so good. Okay. We do not really care about more loot. We're pretty fine on diamonds, we are fine on iron. So it doesn't really matter. We are fine on levels. We can do another level 30 enchant when we are back. Because we do not really need to repair anything. And we will most likely do a pick, I think. I'm not sure though if we will do a diamond pick. We can swim up there. Might not be enough time. Um. Yeah, don't really care about the quest spawner. Let's just try to get up here. Then we can climb up here. And now we can go up here. Can we? can check this chest, but there's junk in it. Yeah, let's just saw up here and hope we do not find a skeleton at the top, which shoots me down, because that really would not be fun. And um, where did we came from? Can we from... did we came from that direction or from this one? My sense of orientation is so bad here. Okay, I've never seen that guest spawner, so I guess we came from the other side. No! Hmm. Okay, there's another bunch of dungeons here. Sandbox for retarded prisoners. All this is a prison. Okay, let's get to the other side somehow. But how? Can we go over some... No, not here. There's drops everywhere. Whitegate Prison. Dungeon 9. We could do that now, but I really want to spend the levels. So... Might as well bridge over here. Go up here. 
We cannot get over anywhere, can we? There's no bridge or something. Um, we will bridge over right here. Should be pretty safe. Oh, there's invisible skeletons. Why is there invisible skeletons? <sighs> okay, let me check on the length of the episode really quick here. Yeah, we will end it here. And I will remove that. Place it again, and next episode we will get our stuff back. Hopefully nothing burned. Invisible skeletons, really? Why? That sucks. Hate it. Yeah, thanks for watching, until next time.